2018 was the fourth wettest year on record in the Tri-Cities. It was raining more than 44 percent of the days. Out of the 365 days in 2018, 161 of them had measurable rainfall. So you think about it, on average it was raining about every other day. The effects of a rainy year is the conversation among many gathering for a farm expo in Blumville this weekend. One of the biggest problems, mud. It has been a challenge feeding. It's been a challenge doing anything around the barn because uh, of the mud. The rain caused an abundance of hay for cattle farmers, but if that hay gets wet, it reduces the nutritional value. You really had to be on your game to get get it dry and get it up to avoid uh, getting it rained on. Many farmers say too much rain is a better situation than not enough. They're giving cattle nutritional supplements. Now these farmers say that having to supplement their cattle's food won't translate to higher prices at the grocery store. They'll have to absorb the extra cost. We haven't lost any cows, but our, some of our friends have due to that lack of nutrition. Even for crops, too much rain can be bad. Gardeners say they'd rather irrigate during a drought. 2018 was a continuous fight against disease and mold. Late season blight on tomatoes, if it's got the late season blight, you probably will just go ahead and pull them up to get it. One of the few pluses was corn and okra, which thrived in the rain. In Blountville, Caleb Perney, News 5 WCYB.